Hello everybody, how are you today? So today we're going to be looking at the finale of Full Throttle Remastered. So last time we went through and we met the Vultures and we competed in the Demolition Derby. Now that was some excitement. You should go check it out if you haven't already. Now today we're going to look at the finale. So we're going to see if we can't take care of Rip Burger for everything that he's done. Without further ado, let's jump into it. What you see before you right now is my vision for the world. Oh, perfect. This is a disaster. You're telling me. We're gonna have some major downtime here. Why don't you tell a joke or something? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know any jokes. <laughs> You know, this reminds me of an amusing anecdote <laughs> about her. Uh, uh, I... Well, I'm out of ideas. Now, this next slide shows our new, more aggressive corporate strategy. <laughs> Hello there! If you're hearing this, I must have croaked. Well, people gotta move on, you know, and make room for other people. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. I've made room for someone else to take my place at Corley Motors. And it ain't that embezzling crook, Adrian Rickberg. Rip, you don't belong at the head of my company. You belong in jail. Uh... I let that man talk me into far too many things. Like keeping my daughter a secret. He was wrong. I was wrong. I should have stood by her. I hope, Maureen, that you forgive me and that you take over Corley Motors and run it however you see fit. All right, that's enough. How do I turn this damn thing off? I... Uh, I'm sorry you had to hear that tape from... one of Malcolm's psychiatric sessions. And near the end, he, he suffered many paranoid delusions. He was haunted by powerful forces of his own creation. And here's one of them. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maureen Corley, and do I have a heck of a story for you. By the time I'm done, you'll see why this man should be in jail. Hey! Where'd he hobble off to? Uh-oh. There he goes. And then he sent his goons after me. Run, Rip Burger. When it's time to find you, we'll just follow the shiny trail. Yes, of course we'll have daycare facilities. Any other questions? Oh, speak of the devil. Come over here, Ben. That's great, Ben. Find where we were meant to be all along. So, after we pick up your bike, we'll go get my gang out of jail. And then find out why my gang never showed up to help us. And then you go business suit shopping. Don't remind me. Don't complain. You're going to be rich. 
At this point, I'd settle for just a little peace and quiet. operation. Huh? What? Can't you make this damn thing go any faster? <laughs> My cane! You'll need more than a cane when I'm through with you, Rip Burger. See a nut anywhere on that. I don't see a nut. I don't see a nut anywhere. Ha! No one sneaks up on me from behind. We're headed for the gorge! Ripperger, you're going to kill all of us. Shh, Ben, don't ruin the ending. How do you stop this thing? From the cockpit! Hmm. Ah! Careful, Ben! So much for the controls. I could have used those. Nothing. What the? Ben, what did you do? Ben, are you alive? I am, but I don't know about Rip Burger. I can see him. He's out cold. Climb back here quick. <laughs> I think you just killed a seagull.
life was a game to him. And he played it by his own rules. He was a mystery to most of us. And yet, an inspiration to us all. He gave us freedom. He gave us power. He gave us wings. He gave us wheels. Thank you, Malcolm Corley, for giving us a dream that will never die. Father Torque. So. So. Uh, maybe we could do lunch sometime next week. Yeah, sure. Lunch sounds great. Things aren't gonna change, are they, Ben? I mean, just because I'm in charge of the company now, and living in a mansion, and riding around in limos, that doesn't mean we won't spend a lot of time together, does it? Look, Mo, you're in a different league now. You shouldn't be hanging out with the likes of me anymore. But Ben... Oh, just a second. Hello? What? No, 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 that's crazy. Is he nuts? Look, move the meeting up to five and tell the plant foreman that I'm coming over personally to inspect those parts. I know, I know, that's what I told him. <sighs> Excuse me, what was that last part? No, 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 that alloy was flawed to begin with. Uh-huh, yeah, 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 good, great. So that was full throttle. I hope everybody has a great day. I'm just gonna let it end here with the credits going. You guys have a wonderful day.